my name is Randy Wilhelm. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Novation. So Novation started in 1999. Now consider the era. Internet was just getting started. Well, it had been started a little earlier, but it was really starting to pick up some steam. And a bunch of us really felt like there'd be a day sometime when the internet could be used to effectively engage and teach with teachers' help students. In other words, it could provide the content that was necessary in the classroom. And in 1999, that was crazy talk. And honestly, it really was. But we knew there'd be a day when there wouldn't be a lack of content for learning, but that there'd be so much of it that it would need to be sorted and contextualized to be relevant and helpful to teachers. So that's what we set out to do in 1999, was to harness and make sense of all of this web so that someday it would be valuable for teachers. So if we're thinking how innovation has evolved over the years, it's been really interesting. We started out with web applications that were designed to help students find access to web resources that could help them with research and learning. And as differentiated instruction came along and as personalized learning came along and even before that the standards movement and as things started changing in the marketplace we changed with it and where we are today is we're still providing the best service for curating and finding the best web resources to use for learning but now we're displaying them and delivering them differently in many cases we're delivering them through other partners that also are helping students with their learning whether it's an assessment partner a learning management system partner or something else. So we're still there doing the same kind of thing, but delivering it in a way that's meaningful today. So for years, Novation has been expertly sifting, sorting, curating, and finding trusted resources in the web that can be used in instruction. And we're still doing that today. But what's different in 2016 for us is that we realize that schools are really struggling to get uh, teachers to, and, and students to some extent, to start using the platforms of choice, whether it be a learning management system or maybe an assessment system. And so instead of us going in and saying, we want you to also learn our application, what we're going in and saying instead is, we want you to stay within your application and we want to take our content and resources and plug them inside that. And that kind of uh, simplicity of design and of ease of use makes it much easier for the entire ecosystem to run smoother and with less friction. So we're spending a lot of time hunting for the right partners and plugging our content into the place where the teachers already are residing within the schools. You know, in the United States, there's over 50 million kids at school, and that's a lot. In order to manage all of that, we need a system and a process in place to be able to manage and work those kids through the system. But interestingly, it's that system and an effort to do that that has sort of objectified the student and made them the object of learning rather than the subject of learning. We believe wholeheartedly that children are born uniquely and beautifully with a natural desire to know. And that natural desire to know comes out in curiosity. Yet somewhere along the way, probably about third grade, who knows, they kind of start realizing that the currency of education is not in the question, but it's in the answer. So they start seeking the answer instead of the question. And to me, that makes education really boring. It makes learning boring. So we are so happy to play into this ecosystem where we're able to bring the kinds of questions and the kind of interested learning to bear so that the students can understand that this is fun and valuable to them so they can be productive people that someday will be my boss. If you're wondering what about our work makes students curious and interested in learning, it was interesting. I was on the phone just today with a district in uh, Maryland. And in that discussion, they said, Randy, look, we can have really great curriculum maps. We can have really structured content, and we do. And we can bring and make available to our teachers a lot of really fine digital resources that can help them with that instruction, and they do. But they said there is no way that we could possibly come up with all the possibilities, all the situations that a teacher is going to find themselves in on any given Tuesday at any given point in time. And that's where they said the Novation resources are so valuable to them because they could point the teacher to the repository of vetted, trusted resources and know that as a teacher goes and finds that one resource in geometry for that one student who's from Brazil who speaks Portuguese, they can reach that child today rather than have to worry about it tomorrow.